My summer staff pick is The Princess in Black by Shannon and Dean Hale, illustrated by Luyan Pham. It is a fantastic read, definitely for those early readers who are interested in chapter books, but not quite ready to read them on their own or just starting to read them on their own. It's about a princess who's also a superhero, so it's perfect for our summer reading program. And the catch line is, who says princesses don't wear black? Wonderful. If you're looking for your next Harry Potter or Rick Riordan Percy Jackson series, this is a great fantasy series for young readers. It's called The Chronicles of Crestamanchi by Diana Wynne Jones. And it is a great story about the nine lived enchanters who keep magic users under control all across the multiverse. The multiverse? Yes, it's a world of 11 uh, different worlds throughout the universe, whatever happens when history goes differently. Things like Napoleon lose, Napoleon won, or maybe King Arthur didn't exist. Weird things that could have gone differently throughout history, but magic is one of them in this book. Some, use, some worlds have it and some worlds don't, so we've got Volume 1, 2, and 3, and these are all prizes that you could win if you sign up for the summer reading program this year. So every hero has their story, and Cat Chant is just the hero that Crestamanchi needs. Hi, I'd like to tell you about a great book that I just finished reading, Stella by Starlight by Sharon Draper, who actually wrote this book based on the diary of her grandmother, which she recently came across. Um, it's an excellent book about Stella, who is 11 years old, and her younger brother, Jojo, who grew up in North Carolina in the 1930s, which for two African-American children was a pretty scary time to be growing up. Um, it was an excellent book all about how Stella dreamed to be a writer because she had so many great words in her head and she just couldn't get them into the words that she wanted. And um, later on in her life, she ended up being a writer. Um, and that is how Sharon, um, she followed in her grandmother's footsteps by being an, an author. Um, her grandmother also had lots of um, exciting adventures that she found in the diary, which she put into this book. Um, so much fun, there were snakes and lots of trouble with other people growing up in the town of Bumblebee in North Carolina. Um, all of her friends and their dreams, and I highly recommend it. It's a great book for adults and anyone ages probably eight and up. So. I think you should check it out. I've got a wonderful book here that um, um, you'll want to share with your little ones. I've shared this one with my grandson many, many times. It's What a Wonderful World, um, as sung by Louis Armstrong, Tim Hopgood. To illustrate the lyrics, and they're bright and beautiful and colorful, and they just make the whole book so hopeful. Um, beautiful pages. I'll show you some of the colors. What a wonderful world. You just see, I see trees of green. And in the book also, there's a little bird. And it's great because a little toddler or, or your young children will want to follow that little bird because that little bird is on every page. You'll want to read this book over and over again. I can't say enough about how beautiful this book is and the beautiful moments that I've had with my grandson as we read and sang it. Um, as we cuddled up together.